This is uh, one of my uh, prototype Powerwall batteries. Um, I'll show you in a minute as I've uh, finalised the design. Uh, 24 volts as normal, uh, 30 amp hours, um, something like 40 watt hour, uh, watt hour you know, work. But anyway, it's about 40 working hours or something like that. Um, if I find that, I'll correct myself. But I know I'm saying it wrong. Not to worry. Anyway, um, yeah, as you can see, the uh, bench is uh, still active, plodding along nicely. Now let's get you off of here. Let me show you what I've uh, been doing. There's the uh, cases for the um, Powerwall batteries. And um, there's two more prototypes that I've done because the ones in these cases are complete. There's no more modifications to the board. Um, I'll show you the board in a minute. And uh, that's how they, they will be going up virtually like that in the power wall. Um, and they're on the wrong size shelf anyway. Uh, there'd be five on a shelf. Uh, sorry, four on a shelf. I'll get that right in a minute. Four on a shelf. Uh, giving me four threes, twelve, 120 amp hours at 24 volts. Um, I did work out the work hours. Work, working hours? Oh, I can't. You know probably what I mean. But anyway, um, that's three of them. There's a board beside it. It's a finalised board. And um, the diodes, um, D1, D2, 3, 4, etc. Um, they make each block individual for charging and discharging purposes. Each one is fused. Now I put a 4 amp fuse in which I, a lot of people are going to say that's stupid, that's uh, not big enough. Well, it is for me because um, I'm going to be building a power wall which is quite large. So the drain on each uh, pack of cells will be around about 2-3 amps. So well within that uh, um, 4 amp fuse. So you'll see lead 2, lead 1, etc. They are fuse blown indicators. And I will be showing you in another video um, how they work. It's basically like I had before. The fuse blows, the lead comes on. And uh, in the cases I've got um, little windows. And without opening the uh, battery, you could see if you've got a blown fuse. Underneath, these cells over here are, are all exactly 4.2. So I'm keeping them for a battery of their own. Um, these are ready for resleeving. I've already resleeved some. Resleeving and uh, building into uh, a battery. There's another case. That one is a prototype case, but I'm going to be using it for my power wall. Uh, I forgot to tell you that these three um, are for a friend of mine, Doug, who looks at, is looking after my car. And um, he's already bought his solar panels to go on his garage roof. And I'm uh, advising him on that. Um, don't do it, you'll electrocute yourself. <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's a good chap. He uh, really knows what's what. And uh, there's some more, if I can get the camera down there. Oh yeah. Move the camera, not the screen, Raymond. 
those are charged prior to battery they want sleeve re-sleeving uh, I've run out of sleeving at the moment and um, I've only got five sleeves left or four no I put them on there didn't I yeah yeah I've only got uh, I put the last ones on there and uh, if I can carefully lift this out that's how I uh, install them from the middle outwards because I found that with um, where are you there I found that um, doing them a row at a time they don't uh, sit properly for some other reason I haven't got a clue what it is but um, they're all soldered and what I'm doing is putting um, um, nickel strip on the negative end of the uh, cell I'm using that to hook up the uh, negative side of the battery uh, negative side of the cell right um, what have I got yeah at the moment I'm charging this one and it ain't far off I'm only taking them up to 4 volts that's all I'm going to be doing um, 4 volts sorry again 4 volts per cell to not strain the, uh, the cell too much in uh, recharging here you go guys it's a new power wall for the lab and new batteries I'll show you the batteries better later it's uh, each one has if I can find it each one has a solar input yellow and a power output red uh, ready pink or oh, call it red Sorry about the lighting, but I'm doing this in the evening. I'll do it again in the morning. And uh, that's one. There's two. And three. <coughs> the um, plugs in the... Uh, these are old, old plugs. I'll scrap um, cables simply to uh, protect the pins from shorting out on the power output each one has a um, where I can find it, there we go has a um, 25 amp fuse and a lot of people go, what? 25 amp fuse? well there's 25 sorry I drifted off there there's 25 there's 50, there's 75, and there's 100. So each shelf will have the capability of um, delivering 100 amps. And there's going to be, I think, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I'll say seven shelves. So this power wall will have the capability of uh, 700 amps at 24 volts. So I could run several inverters if I wanted to. Uh, this is a, a 90 centimeter wide rack, uh, yeah, wide rack, and the depth is 30 something centimeters. I'll be 39, I can't remember. And it's uh, nearly two metres tall. As I say, I'll, I'll show you a better picture in the morning. But I thought I'd get this uh, done in case anything happens. And uh, I'm not able to do that. As you can see, I now have two shelves in, in place, and 
that's what uh, it's going to look like all the way down yes I know the floor looks a lot tidier but more on that in another video I'm uh, quite pleased that uh, I've got these um, I came up with this box idea actually it was Lisa that introduced me to this box when she did her Christmas lights outside and the idea just popped into my head oh if you're wondering what these red buttons are uh, yeah, I'd bloody go colour blind don't I um, if you're wondering what these uh, white push buttons are for they are to press when you look through the window to see if the um, fuse is blown because otherwise um, if a fuse is blown the light would be on all the time even if you know um, you hadn't checked for a week so what I decided to do was interrupt it with a, a switch um, and just diode feed them all down to the negative rail through the the push button and uh, so when you press that now I think if memory serves me right yes I can show you that in action because uh, I showed Doug a demonstration um, the other day let's see if I can get this right I want to get my finger in there as well. I've got to... Uh... Come on, where are you? With the naked eye you can see better. There we go. There it is. I'm going to try and come out so you can see that I'm pressing the button at the same time as the light's coming on. So, uh, at least then, <coughs> excuse me, you don't have to pull the battery out to check if the fuses are blown. And, um, As I said, these are all going to be um, a full block of uh, batteries on this uh, new power wall. I'm quite chuffed with it, to be honest. Absolutely chuffed with it. Now, guys, that's all for this week. Now, please don't forget, if you like my videos, Please think about subscribing. Also, if you don't want to subscribe but you like my videos, thumbs up please. I'll be much obliged. You know, one of these. <laughs> and uh, share if you feel like sharing. Okay, people, I'll see you next week. Take care.